Good day, everybody. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, uh, what I have right here is a Ford Limited Slip out of an 8.8. .8. What I'm going to show you how to do today is that we're going to remove the clutches, do a clutch inspection, and then put it all back together. I do got some new clutches here, but we're not going to use them just because I was originally going to use this in my build, but decided to go a different route. But I'm still going to do the DIY video for those who do have this and want to see how it's done. First thing we need to do is get that S-spring out. In order to get that S-spring out, we need to remove that small bolt and then push the pin through. And then once the pin is pushed through, we can work on getting the spring out. And those are the tools I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to race through this part. I have a DIY video on this if you want a more in-depth. So what I should have done is just use... A deep socket to begin with be easier to get it out and then use a brass punch to kind of slide that pin out and then use my hammer to tap the pin out the rest of the way now for the s spring i take my needle nose channel locks kind of grip it squeeze it down a little bit and then once i squeeze it down i start to tap it out with a brass punch on the opposite side so i tap it out as far as you can get it until the spring starts hitting the ring gear then once it starts hitting the ring gear you just kind of wiggle it out. You're not probably not going to be able to pull it out, but wiggle it out that the spring can rest on top of the gear. And then once you do that, you can just keep tapping it out and keep tapping it out. And then you'll get to a certain point where it gets really loose and then you can get it out. And if you're ever wondering just how much tension that spring has, boom, it's not very scary. You got the spring out, you got the pin out, now I need to get access to the clutches. Now these are your spider gears. And all you want to do is just rotate them around, as you can see right here. And once you rotate them around and out, you'll be able to pull the middle sections out. And come on. Oops. There we go. Pull those both out like that. There we go. Pull those both out like that. So now with the smaller spider gears are out, you can just actually grab these sections, the other two spider gears, pull them out and all the clutch packs at once. Pull that one out, slide it out, put it down there, and grab everything that I can at once. Take it out. Same with this side right here. And that all came all in one pack. So I got it apart here, you can look at the clutch discs right here, and you may think to yourself, man, those are pretty thin. Are they shot? I don't see any metal. What you want to look at, these are the Ford Racing clutch packs right here, and you can even see on the new OEM ones that uh, the clutch material is really really small it's not too much there so i do believe this does still have some life left we're only gonna package it back together set it up and sell it somebody else can buy it with the new clutch pack and decide what they're gonna do with it so now at this point if you were going to 
reuse them. You just reassemble them. You don't want to clean them. I guess you could clean them and re-soak them in oil. But if you're going to install new ones, and of course you'd want to stick the new friction pads in oil and pre-soak them before you put them together. hard about this is that trying to get both gear oh okay you gotta get that little bearing retainer in I'm gonna slide that back in I don't have them perfectly lined up so they're not gonna go they got to be synchronized like perfectly so we're gonna try that again okay I'm gonna try that again right there synchronize them perfect I got them you're going to find the only way to get those spider gears in is to synchronize them opposite ends and then twist them in. That's the only way that I could find. Once again, if you want to see a more in-depth on how to get the S-Spring in, I have one listed in the playlist and I'll try to put a link in the description. So basically, you just take your needle nose channel lock. So how I did it was just clamp it just as so. Then I kind of feed it in place where it's going to go. And then I tilt it back. And I give it a good couple of wraps with the hammer and you see it kind of go in. And then from there on, if it doesn't go in straight, I just kind of tap it around with the brass punch, kind of get it aligned. And then I tap it down. And once you get it past the gear, is when it'll really drop in really easy. So once you get it past the gear, you get it down in place. I'm going to try to feed that in. See, I'm starting to turn. Kind of drop my bolt right there so I know what I'm coming through. I'm going to drop it right in place. We're good. Now, of course, you would use Loctite on that bolt so it doesn't come out, but I'm just an inspection I'm throwing it back together I'm gonna sell it with new clutch packs there you have it the clutch inspection is done now personally if I was going to use that differential instead of the Detroit true track right here I would have just installed those track lock clutches but since I'm selling it with the clutches and the new owner can do whatever they want, it's fair enough. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll see you in the next one.